Hey everyone, welcome back to April Album A Day. We're on number seven, which means our first week is done. Uh, that's kind of crazy. It's kind of flown by, but also kind of felt longer because of how much I've been listening to stuff. Um, but today's album is Where the Light Is by John Mayer. Uh, if you don't know about this album, it's actually a live album of a concert he did back in 2007. Uh, it's pretty famous if you're a fan of him. My mom is a huge John Mayer fan, so uh, she actually did not recommend me this one. It's a different one, but this is one of my favorite albums by him. I think it's, honestly, I can say it's his best and not be kind of a hot take. Uh, it's about two hours long. Like I said, it is a full concert, so it's a little bit longer than a normal album. Like most live albums, I wouldn't say that long, but it kind of makes sense why it's a little bit longer. Um... So I actually remember listening to, uh, I, I know a lot of songs from it already. Uh, there were some I didn't know, but I remembered it actually out of order. And the reason is because I actually saw John Mayer in concert a few years ago. And I was thinking of the order that he performed those tracks in. So I was like, well, it doesn't start with this song. It doesn't make any sense. And I was just, uh, I was confusing the two, putting them together. But uh, he starts off the whole experience with his acoustic songs. He kind of like, covers them in an acoustic way. Uh, Neon is one of his hardest to play songs notoriously for a guitarist, but he has a really cool uh, acoustic cover of it with crazy soloing. That's the one thing on this album that is very unique is that he plays his songs that everyone knows, like pretty famous ones, but he solos for like three minutes in the middle of it and makes them 10 times better and somehow gets away with it. I don't know, it's crazy. But he starts off with his acoustic covers of Neon, uh, Stop This Train, In Your Atmosphere is probably my favorite on the album. Uh, Daughters, Free Fallen, cover of Tom Petty's Free Fallen. And then it leads into a bunch of blues covers, like in the middle of the album. There's actually disc one and disc two, uh, if you look on any kind of streaming. But I think it's because it came out on CD at the time, obviously, because it was 2007. So I'm assuming it just released that way. Uh, there wasn't streaming, so, well, I guess technically not, but um, it just has those discs separated so you can see how it was meant to be released. So it has a bunch of blues covers that are really good. One of them's 10 minutes long, and it's just kind of him going crazy uh, on the guitar and just showing how talented he is. He's one of the best guitarists of the current generation. It's kind of crazy uh, how talented he is and how just unique his play style is. Like, people cannot replicate it that well, <laughs> but... Uh, on disc two, he gets into his hits, um, more rock related than acoustic, um, and they're not as bluesy. I would say, I don't need no doctors, a little more bluesy than the ones that he plays, but <clears throat> he'll have like Heart of Life on there. Um, I'm trying to think of the last song on the album, but he has Vulture starting that out, but there's just a lot that he does on that side that make the originals even better. Like the way he plays it, his voice actually sounds great live. And it's not just that, but his playing ability. Like the way he intros the songs makes them significantly better because they're kind of like leading into each other a bit. Uh, it's not like a full like recording and then it leads into it, there's a cut, but he does just have kind of a full, I don't know what you want to call it, intro riff that he creates for these songs just for this concert. I mean, it's crazy. He's really talented. Um, I, I really enjoy John Mayer's music. A lot of it is because my mom uh, showing me that as a kid. It's actually the first record I ever got, which I'll, if I ever show my record collection, uh, I will show that. But um, I listened to a lot of John Mayer as a kid because my mom really enjoys his music and has seen him in concert, I think, five times now. I've seen him once. I'll probably see him again at some point. Um, I've not seen him with Grateful Dead, but he is very talented and this album just proves that he is a incredible and incredible uh, live musician with a lot of ability to just kind of freestyle and not just stick to one lane. Um, he's a very talented guitarist, that's all I'm going to say. I think this is actually his best album. Uh, I'm going to give it... 4.5 stars out of 10, which is a 9 out of 10. 
uh, that might be crazy to some people, but that's just honestly the absolute creativity that goes into this album and I guess live show, but just the unique ability he has to make things better that he's already done. Like they're, they're better than the studio versions. Like these are probably in my friend group, we listen to these more than any of, I don't think we listen to any of the studio stuff compared to this because this album is just that good. Like it's, it's his best work, I think, um, unless he gets better in the future and does something crazier. But I think that he really killed it. I think the blues covers also really do it. Like I love the 10 minute, just him going crazy solo and freestyle and just talking. Um, it's his best. I mean, I that's, that's my opinion. Um, if you don't think live albums should be allowed in rankings of artists, that's totally fine in your opinion. You can say it's a different album, but I think this one is his best and you can't deny that it's his best work. And I think I, I, the live versions are just better. I mean, if you don't think so, highly encourage you to listen to it and see for yourself. I guarantee your opinion will change. So that is number seven. I'm excited for day eight, uh, week number two. Uh, if you want to check out the rest of the ratings, you can check out the playlist in the description as well as the Discord if you want to join that and it notifies you every time I post. Um, I really appreciate joining along for the journey. And there'll be more of these throughout the entire month of April and other videos, not just these. So stick around. I'd love to have you and we'll see you next time.